imagine camping with a shotgun? Yeah. So, Treyarch nerfed the shotguns. Why they nerfed them, I don't really know. I mean, I guess the Gallo nerf I can understand, but why nerf the Hauer? You can't even get one-shot kills with the Hauer as it is. You don't need to go nerf in the damage range and stuff. Now, the nerf isn't super noticeable, but I do notice I get a lot more three-shot kills with the Hauer, whereas if you guys have seen my previous videos, I said it's pretty rare to get a three-shot kill with the Hauer. You have to be kind of unlucky, or you had to be kind of unlucky for that to happen. Not the case anymore. If they're pretty far out at the end of the damage range, it can be pretty hard to get a two-shot kill on them. And that definitely was not the case before. So anyway, what they did do at least was they did buff the task force damage. I was talking to Elgumtov and he said they buffed the damage per pellet very, very minorly. But this is kind of a noticeable buff, at least when you're running the duck build choke. If you guys don't know what the duck build choke does, it gives you wider pellet spread. It makes it easier to hit your target, but you're less likely to hit a lot of pellets on target. But I find stacking Duckbill Choke with Task Force Barrel now to be a very, very good close range one shot setup because you only have to hit them with a couple pellets. So you can basically flick, spin, and you don't have to worry about being super accurate and you can still get kills. Now this is what I run on Nuketown. On the larger maps, you could run a different setup with a normal choke. One of these barrels that increases your effective damage range, but still, I just kind of accept the fact that they nerfed it and it's just a really close range shotgun now. So even on larger maps, I still run Task Force, run a smoke grenade and push really hard. But like I said, that's up to you. On the larger maps, you could run that, but this, this Nuketown setup right here is pretty fire. You guys are probably gonna be seeing a lot of content from me using this setup, and it's pretty much the same as before. Five milliwatt laser to tighten that spread up a little bit. Longest magazine tube. And then like for Nuketown, I've been running no stock. You don't really need marathon stock on Nuketown. I know I talked that up a lot in previous videos, but that's mainly for larger maps. The movement speed, it's up to you. Once again, I'm still torn between these two stocks, but I do find the sprint out time on Nuketown to be a little bit better than the Marathon stock. But yeah, here's the rest of my class setup for anybody who's interested. I always run smoke grenades because it's really hard to get up close and personal with shotguns in this game, which you have to do to get a kill. I run Molotovs. I actually run Molotovs mainly to block off lanes. They stay around for a long time, and even if people do have flat jacket on, they often don't go where Molotovs are because they don't want to take any damage at all, so I find that to be very useful. Oftentimes, I'll throw a Molotov, especially on Nuketown, I'll throw it in the doorway, and then I'll run through it since I have flat jacket on, <laughs> and yeah, I'll take like 10 damage, but I'll push through into the building or whatever. Same with gas mine. I use it to block off lanes. I use my tacticals, lethals, and field upgrades to either help me get close and personal or direct traffic to where I want them to go. Hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you guys in the next one.